okay you can start hey malle <clears throat> first we are going to talk about life cycle of butterflies in sri lanka malle ali there there are four stages in the life cycle of butterflies at egg larva pupa and adult butterfly ali first uh, egg eggs are laid on plants by the adult female butterfly ali these plants will then become the food for the hatching caterpillars and <clears throat> eggs can be laid from spring summer or fall ali this depends on the species of butterfly <clears throat> females lay a lot of eggs at once so that at least some of them survive ali butterflies eggs can be very small and let's see <clears throat> in caterpillar stage by right? mm, the feeding stage mali the next stage is larva this is also called a caterpillar if the insect is a butterfly or a moth the job of the caterpillar is to eat and eat and eat as the caterpillar grows it spits its skin and sheds it about four or five times food eaten at this time is stored and used later as an adult ali caterpillars can grow 100 times their size during this stage for example for example a monarch butterfly egg is the size of a pinhead and the caterpillar that hatches from this tiny egg is much bigger but mainly it will grow up to 10 inches long in several weeks and the next stage is pupa the transition stage when the caterpillar is full grown and stops eating it becomes a pupa the pupa of butterflies is also called a chrysalis and depending on species the pupa may suspended under branch hidden leaves or buried underground the pupa of many moths is protected inside a cocoon of silk and in this stage can last from a few weeks a month or even longer some species have a pupa stage that lasts for two years it may look like nothing is going on but big chances are happening inside the special cells that were present in the larva are now growing rapidly mali <clears throat> and let's see the reproductive stage adult stage hmm. the the adult stage is what most people think of when they think of butterflies they look very different from the larva the cat- caterpillar has a few tiny eyes stubby legs and very short antennae the adults have long legs long antennae and compound eyes they can also fly by using their large and colorful wings and the one thing they can't do is grow and the cat caterpillars job was to eat and the adults job is to mate and lay eggs and some species of adult butterflies get energy by feeding on nectar from flowers but many species don't feed at all and flying comes in handy the adult female can easily fly from place to place to find the right plant for its eggs this is important because caterpillars can't travel far in most adult butterflies live only one or two weeks but some species hibernate during the winter and may live several months mainly <clears throat> and so all about life cycle of butterflies and do you have any question no doubt uh, are yeah moths a butterfly species or is it sorry is uh, moths is that a butterfly species moths it's monarch right it's monarch yeah it's a species are uh, yeah what's the difference between a moth and a butterfly a moth uh, you asked about moth 
Yeah. Mot, mot means you know mot that. Mm. Mot is not a butterfly only. Uh, it's a different type of animal, uh, but they are kind of genetically related to butterflies. I have also different. Like what's the difference between them, the moth and the butterfly? I uh, will let you know Mali, about that. Okay. Uh, so next up, uh, Iruna, are you going to talk about the importance? Or... Okay, no questions, right? Mm. Let's see the importance of butterflies in Sri Lanka. There's no idea. Yes, yes, someone asked what's the difference between moths and butterflies, right? Yes. Yeah, so the answer to that is uh, butterflies, when they land, they uh, hold their wings upwards. But then moths, when they land, their wings are just folded like uh, just horizontally. But butterflies' wings uh, are folded vertically when they land. So that's how you can differentiate them. Thank you, Marley. Thank you so much. Thank you, Richard. Uh, so, Amali if any of you all have points like this, uh, on you can speak, okay? If you all have any questions, also ask. Uh, next up, uh, Malik will be talking about the physical characteristics of butterflies. Yes, no, you can go. Yeah, okay, so Mali talking about the physical characteristics of butterflies. Uh... Uh, butterflies are insects in the Lepidopteran clade, Ropalesira from the order Lepidoptera. So, mainly the phylum of butterflies are they are arthropods, and they weigh about uh, the male weigh about fifty grams, while the female weighs about fifty three grams. So, the height of a butterfly is about uh, one eighth of an inch, and they can also grow up to twelve inches. Their lifespan is about two to four. Four weeks uh, and Mali, uh, the longest ever lifespan that has been recorded from a butterfly is uh, nine to twelve months. And Mali, the order of yeah, what is the are, shortest lifespan recorded? Uh, that's not known, Mali, but normally the life expectancy of many butterflies are two to four weeks, Mali. So, like a butterfly can die before they are even born, but you know, can cut the when they are like. When they're in, when they're a caterpillar, you know, you can cut that part where, you know, they know structure. So if you cut that part, they die instantly. So you can't like, it may have been recorded. Are your females live longer normally than males? Yes, ma'am. Males live about two to three weeks. Males live like one to two. Yeah. So... The average wingspan of butterflies are five centimeters, and there are mainly in Sri Lanka there are two hundred and forty-five butterflies, and uh, twenty-three of them are endemic and seventy-six are threatened nationally. And mainly the there's a there's a butterfly called uh, Ceylon rose. It's uh, critically endangered. Are you yeah, how many species of butterflies are there in uh, like Sri Lanka? Two hundred and forty-five, mainly. Ah, thank you. Mali butterflies are insects with large wings, scaly wings, and they are arthropods. Uh, the four wings and the six legs of the butterfly are attached to thorax. The thorax contains the muscles that make the legs and the wings move. Uh, Mali, like all insects, they have six jointed legs. So in arthropods, the arthropods have six jointed legs. And Mali, they have three body parts, a pair of antenna, they have compound eyes, and an exoskeleton. Exoskeleton. And the three body parts are the head, the thorax, which is the chest, and the abdomen, the tail. Uh, Mali, the majority of butterflies are found in foothills and in the wet zones, like uh, the range of uh, 
4,000 feet on the sea level. In Mali, a uh, number of like uh, only less than 20 species are restricted to the low lying dry zone. And Mali, a much smaller number of species are found in the range below 4,000. And Mali, a number of butterflies peak in two seasons during the year. There are the southwestern monsoon and the northeastern monsoon. Mali, the southwestern monsoon is in the months between March and April, and the northeastern monsoon is between the months September to October. Yes, ma'am. You can see the straight eye. Yes, yes. So, while you're talking about endemic butterflies, give me a second. Talking about endemic butterflies, Mali, there are 23 of the 21 and 45 species are endemic to Sri, only Sri Lanka. And uh, Somali, can anyone tell me like the, the butterfly that's seen in the first picture? Does anyone know? So I can hear you, right? Okay, Mali, so that butterfly is called Plum Juri Mali. And uh, they're purplish brown, as you can see. They have a small tooth on the hind wing. It's the only species to consistently hold its wing in a V-shaped posture when settled and twists and turns body in dance. Uh, they are in only in the like they are in climbing zones except at the arid zones. They inhabit forests and well wooded areas. Uh, Mali, large populations are once common around the wetlands of Colombo that had good stands for Aricia ellipsita, one of its lava food plants. Uh, Mali, both female and males fly about during the day. Male very active during the dusk and flies back and forth with great speed in open spaces. And Mali, uh, they can be easily mistaken for a moth in the dim light. So Mali, the next butterfly that we're talking about is the striped albatross, who is also an endemic species. Endemic butterfly. That's in the second picture. Somali, like, male is similar to, like, male is similar to the male common albatross and male lesser albatross. Uh, they have a chalk white with a yellow streak at the base of the underside and hind wing. They have triangular scaling along upper side for wing, outer margin runs a shorter distance along veins. So their scaling is much reduced in dry season four. So the commonest in the dry area is cast in the wet zone. They fly year round, join the migration in fair numbers in January and May and March. So Mali the next, and we'll talk about the next butterfly, which is the Ceylon rose. Normally, uh, the Ceylon rose, rose is common to the common rose, but like there were streaks on four wings fever, streaks on the four wings are fever, and broader. The white patch in the discal cell more extensive. Un they are uncommon. They are forest loving lowland its own species. They stray sometimes they stray into home gardens. Main flight seasons are April and August. Uh, they are regular at boarding color flies high in the can canopy to feed on forest blooms, descends to feed on shrubs, flies leisurely, protected from bird predation and disagreeable chemicals accumulated as a lava. And the next species that we are talking about is the common type. So 
similar to the female common palm fly mali uh, they have a black stripes on the underside while distributed from sea level to the highest hills uh, they are common but seldom as numerous as tigers uh, most abundant at low elevation particularly near fresh water in coastal areas flies year round but common during october and december Uh, they are avoided by birds due to unpalatable chemicals in its body acquired during larval stage their larva feeds on oxalacea esculentum in coastal areas their behavior is similar to plain tiger uh, the next butterfly that we talk about is the common imperial they are about 38 to 42 mm long uh, Individuals with broken tails resemble the peacock royal, like tonal spots not crowned with orange scales. It's a forest dweller. It's common in the wet zone and it can be seen mainly during January and April. A uh, few fly year round. They also occur at cinnamon plantations on leaves of which the larva feeds. The dry zone. They are mostly. confined to riverine habitats often near vines of pintada reedy it's mostly widely used larval food plant uh, they fly high in the canopy visiting occasionally to delight of predator mali at last we talking about the silon owl so the undersigned hind wing has a white spot at center it's prominent and anal fold at short tail a uh, rare denizen of forests of central hills and southwestern lowlands They fly swiftly. Sometimes spotted as it flies from underside of a leaf while talking rests. Encountered in open areas early morning, flying haltingly in search of food and mates. Retreats into forest to avoid midday heat except in overcast. Uh, they are likely to be seen at Singaraj forest and areas in Deniyar. That's it about endemic species. Now. Uh, Aya, yeah. uh, you know the, the colors on the butterflies' wings. How do they get their colors? Uh, it's an interesting fact. Mali, actually, Mali, the butterflies' wings are transparent. Okay. We will be talking about that in a maybe. Aya, yeah, are there butterflies who can't like uh, like uh, are they fly? Are there butterflies who can't fly? Uh, not that we know of, my. Okay, boys. So I will be talking about the type of butterflies. Uh, for starters, the larva of butterflies eat only leaves of plants. Different caterpillars like to eat certain kinds of plants. The leaves allow the caterpillars to grow and get all the vitamins needed to transform into a beautiful butterfly. In turn, the adult butterflies consume all sorts of different things, including nectar, water, even liquids from some of the fruits we consume. They especially like to drink from the mushy slices of banana, oranges, and watermelons. Now, many people do not know exactly how the butterfly. Uh, food is consumed. Well, a small little pipe like a straw, which is coiled under its head, most of the time is what an adult butterfly uses to suck up all the nectar from plants. The straw is called a proboscis stick. This is the reason that all but butterflies generally stick to an all liquid diet. It is very hard to suck. Up any solid with the straw like that for your mom. Uh, butterflies are known for their completely completely liquid diets. Uh, whatever they are sampling nectar from all sorts of different flowers, or they are using their long straw to drink up water out of the shallow ponds. Butterflies are usually always looking for things that are liquid to eat. Uh, next up, uh, I'm going to talk about the butterfly families in Sri Lanka. All together, Mali, there are seven butterfly families, but only six butterfly families are present in Sri Lanka. The six 
summaries are Hespiridae, Lichanidae, Nymphalidae, Papilionidae, Peridae, Riodinidae. It's, it's kind of hard to pronounce those, uh, the names of the. Uh, yeah, I have a see at the family. The... Uh, I'm not sure about that, Mali. I'll let you know if I. Okay. okay so the family Hespiridae, known as the skippers, they, they are usually small and drought, and they fly swiftly and close to the ground. Uh, here are some of the examples of the examples for the family Hesperidae, and I've given the three pictures of the three butterflies of the three examples. Uh, next up, uh, the second family, the Nymphilidae, uh, they are known as the brushfoots, uh, usually medium size and brightly colored. Fly, free, uh, fly quickly at mid heights and higher up. And I've given three examples the regal fritillary, pearl crescent, painted lady. And I've given three pictures of them also. Uh, they look similar, but they are three butterflies. Okay. They kind of look similar. The third family is Papilionidae. Uh, they are known as the Swallow tails, usually large and brightly colored, fly leisurely at mid and high levels. And I've given three examples for that also the giant shallow tail, in shallow tail, intra shallow tail, and the three pictures of them. Uh, the fourth family is Piridae, known as the whites and yellows, usually medium sized. And they fly quickly at mid heights and close to the ground. Uh, I couldn't find the names of these butterflies, but uh, I've given the pictures. Uh, as said, they are known as the whites and yellows. So you could see in the pictures, uh, the first butterfly is the first butterfly is a white one, and the second one is yellow. Uh, if you all know the names of these two butterflies, uh, you all can let me know, or you can put the two names in the chat. Uh, the fifth family, the only day, known as the metal marks. They are also usually medium size, fly at mid heights, and, and only one species is found in Sri Lanka. Uh, the examples for Yodini Day are falcate metal mark, other metal mark, purple lost eye metal mark, and, and the three pictures of that. And the last family, the Lincolnidae, known as the blues, usually small and blue, fly quickly and close to the ground or high up in the canopy. Uh, the male blue gem is one of the examples of this family. And you could see Mali, this butterfly is a blue colored one. So that's why they're known as the blues. Most of the butterflies belonging to the belonging to this family. Pablo. Uh, next up, uh, we'll be talking about threats. Uh, habitat destruction and degradation, air pollution, over usage of pesticides, and over exploitation for ornamental trade are the main threats to butterflies in Sri Lanka. Too long droughts and over predation also pose a threat to them. The population of butterflies in Sri Lanka is drastically reduced for the last few years. Losing the natural habitat is being identified as one of the main reasons for the reducing butterfly population on the island. Most of the butterflies of Sri Lanka are categorized under the endangered animal list and they could be diminished forever if no action is taken to protect them. Uh, next up, uh, we're going to be talking about the importance of butterflies. Uh, uh, yeah, do, they, do, they do they kill uh, butterflies to get stuff like they are like they are being joined like that? Yes, ma'am. For ornamental stuff, yeah, they yeah. kill. Okay. Thank you.
Only butterflies drive key ecosystem services such as pollination and their role in food webs, yet they are declining in many areas. And, and Sri Lankan butterflies are also under conservation threat. About 40% of the butterfly species are threatened and 8.5 are critically endangered. And um, let's see my varieties of butterflies in Sri Lanka. Shall we move on? Okay. Yes. Only here, Almali, here you can see um, the varieties of butterflies in Sri Lanka. Only there are 248 in, but out of them, 31 are endemic Mali. Only and our national butterfly is Sri Lankan bird wing. It is the longest butterfly. There are nine species of butterflies, which are included as provincial butterflies. And you can see some of them. You can see that's nine uh, blue SA and banded peacock like that. They are included as provincial butterflies. In Mali, so Mali, that 31 is very important because they are only found in Sri Lanka. And it's, it's about uh, varieties and size. Only <clears throat> the threats to Sri Lanka's butterfly diversity relate mostly to a growing human population, driving habitat destruction for agriculture and urbanization. Only in particular, <clears throat> once rural or remote areas, such as those around Vasgamo National Park in central Sri Lanka, you will meet rapidly. You know, Vasgamo <clears throat> National Park, right? And uh, let's see Mali why is a butterfly garden is very important. Mali, <clears throat> one of the most basic functions of a butterfly garden is to encourage healthy pollination in the area. And butterflies are excellent pollinators, collecting pollen on their legs and bodies as they drink the flowers, flowers, flowers nectar in the same way bees do. Well, that's why butterfly garden is so important and that's, that's about importance of butterflies in Sri Lanka. Have any questions? Oh. Thank you, Viran. Uh, Molly, if you don't have any questions, let's move on. Uh, yeah, is uh, butterflies herbivorous? Uh, yes, I guess uh, much about it. Yeah, uh, we sorry we talked about uh, threats, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so now we'll be talking about endemic butterflies, in Sri Lanka. Uh, the Ceylon birdwing is the largest butterfly endemic to Sri Lanka. Majority of endemic uh, species are restricted to the webs. 
zone forest. The Ceylon Burbing is one of the largest endemics of the country and is found in large numbers in the Sinharaja forest. So, and the Ceylon tiger and the Ceylon tree nymph are also endemic to Sri Lanka. Uh, and the examples of the two the pictures. Any questions regarding that? Move on then. Uh, uh, yeah, I have more examples the Shilon brown fly and the Shilon tea brown, tree brown. And there's the pictures of the two. Now we'll be talking about the national butterfly. Uh, one aspect of declaring the national butterfly is to make public awareness among the local. Public awareness among the local people about uh, about the fast disappearing butterflies in the country. Butterflies can be rescued by directing the attention of people about their importance for nature. Enhanced enhanced awareness among the people will help to save the valuable sensitive habitat of butterfly species. Naturalists believe it is a timely decision to take the authorities to save this valuable species with uh, participation and the partnership of the community. Declaring the National Butterfly of Sri Lanka was recommended by the group of butterflies experts who were designated to create an action plan to conserve the butterfly fauna in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka bird wing is an endemic butterfly species chosen as the national butterfly of Sri Lanka. Being the largest butterfly of the country, the width of the bird wing is 165-180 mm across the expanded wings. Wings are mainly in two colors, glossy black forewings and the bright yellow pine wings. Caterpillars of bird wings mainly feed on plants of the Aristolo GK family, a uh, uh, kind of family and a species family. And this is one of the very few endemic species of butterfly that is not categorized as an endangered fauna in the country. Birdwing had been chosen as the national butterfly based on the following reasons. The largest butterfly of Sri Lanka by distribution endemic to the country, attractive color pattern, no best behavior throughout the life, no negative culture or spiritual belief involved with it, not a vectoring agent of disease. Uh, the main reason is because the, this butterfly is endemic to Sri Lanka. Uh, so you all have any questions regarding it? All right. Okay, uh, so next time I will be talking about the fun facts. Give us money. Mandi, I guess Mandi is facing uh, connection problem. I guess.
Mali ke pas menit Mali ke spacing na connection issue. Oh, yes, no, you can start off. I'm sorry about the mic. So, talk about contacts. So, can anyone hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Okay. So, the first contract we'll talk about is the migration that takes place during the southwest monsoon. So, can anyone tell me the ones that are in the southwest monsoon? So it's the months between March and April, sorry, it's March, April months. So during this period, uh, butterflies migrate in large numbers towards the Adams Peak. So animals fly, fly towards the Adams Peak where they crash and they perish. So it's like they kiss the rock and they die. So it is said that Mali that at the end of the migration, the mountain is smeared with yellow, which is caused by the crash of countless butterflies into the Adams Peak mountain range, Mali. Mali, secondly, Mali, so the wings of the butterflies are transparent, but we can see colors when we look at a butterfly, right? So, uh, so Mali, like, uh, actually, the but wings of a butterfly are covered with multitude of miniature scales, actually, thousands of them. So, the colors you see, we see when a butterfly flicks it up around us is not only the reflection of various colors through the scales. The wings themselves are made out of a protein called chitin, which is the same protein that forms in insects through the scale in Mali. And Mali, thirdly, Mali, uh, butterflies actually use their feet to like taste substances. So the taste receptors of butterflies are located in legs, Mali. So a uh, butterfly's daily activities consist of eating and mating normally. So they both require landing. So even if it is only for brief, the food, because since food is priority, those taste receptors help the butterfly locate the right plant and the key nutrients it needs for survival. So if you wonder why butterfly you know, lands on you, it's for food, not because you're attractive or something. That's it, man. Thank you. So that's it for today's lecture.